beautiful Pisceans, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a timeless reading. So whenever you come to the channel for viewing is when you're meant to hear it. Now, um, whether that's in six months, um, whether it's in two months, doesn't matter. That's when you're meant to hear the message. It's not going to be for everybody. It is for the collective. It's definitely for one person out there. It could be for a handful. So take it in your situation. Now we'll get on with the reading here, Pisces. And I'm going to look at um, uncovering your past life oracle that may be affecting this reading. So we've identified that you were a male, a young male. Okay, maybe you were a, um, a priest or you are going to be a priest and your lesson was about forgiveness. I feel that you would have been conscripted into the army. I feel that you had issues in the army of physical or sexual abuse. Now, um, another relative became a beneficiary for you. And uh, there was an inheritance there. You were quite wealthy. I feel like um, you died or you've had an accident and this traumatized you. So there was a feeling of abandonment here or loss of a loved one. And this person died of a broken heart. So it may be something affecting this lifetime, this reading. So we start with the tree, which is all your ancestors, your roots, health, growth. And we've got the clover. We've got the po uh, bouquet and the diviner. So I feel here, Pisces, that your health may be good for short term. So it can go either way. You've either got good health for a little while or you're blessed with health. I also feel this is a positive growth, especially spiritually for you. Spiritually growing and awakening. Now, it could relate to the Ironscape, a Lionsgate portal, which is about um, spirituality as well. And uh, the veil's becoming thin with... Lots of downloads for you guys. And I have done the Lionsgate portal, so check them out. I've got the moon here, which is about intuition, romance, uh, dreams, emotions. I have the coffin. I have the birds. And I have the moon. So the moon's come out twice. So this part of the reading is significant for you. Now, there could be an ending of a romance. And this is a really, really emotional conversation that you've got here. So it could be a Cancerian energy that's coming through. Ending of uh, communication, ending of lovebirds. And an ending to um, an emotional conversation. Now we have the book, which is all about truth, your intuition. Uh, I'm sorry. Mysteries, secrets, knowledge. We've got the fox. We have the ship and the garden. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I feel like this is dubious information. Information about a job or some sort of job training. And I feel places that you may need to study abroad. And you need information about this travel. So you may decide to go with a travel study group because the garden is about like-minded people, small groups. So you may need to go to a foreign country or just outside your zip, zip code. So you may need to travel with a group of people regarding this job. Now we have the key. You finding out the answers and being able to access a situation that you weren't able to access before. You have the scythe. You have the mice. And you have the whip. So this is you needing to be very decisive and act quickly. This is finding out a quick solution 
and you being nervous and anxious about what needs to be done. Now, the answer to this is very repetitive. They may bring up arguments and disagreements along the way. So let's see. We're going to talk about the recent past for you. So we have the clover. We have the coffin. You know, this is um, what led up to the ending, perhaps. So I feel like there was an end to luck or an opportunity but there was this motive behind this opportunity where your luck was cut off. Maybe it had something to do with a relationship in business. But I was strongly feeling it was uh, connected to love and romance. What's happening to you at present is the bouquet, the birds, the whip. Oh, sorry, the ship rhymed and the mice. So at present, you know... You seem to be having polite conversations and you're going to actually give someone with this trip to go with you. But I feel you worrying under the surface. You're worrying about this trip. Or you're anticipating giving this person this gift. It could be the person that you had an ending with. So let's see. This is what's happening at the present. Now, in the near future, you have the diviner, the moon, the garden, and the whip. The whip. Oh, I can't talk today. Sorry, guys. Now, the near future, this is about you being on point with your psychic abilities and intuition. Now, this group of people, it's about you taking action with them with the whip that's about that's an action card it's physically an action card as well as discussions but i feel like you will be taking a trip with this group of people so we're going to take a look now at the wisdom of hidden realms and see what comes out for you so what message i've got gaia's garden here Number 18. So this is about fruition, abundance, ripping what you sow. So whatever you've put in is going to come back to you. So you're seeing your growth here. And like I said in the beginning, this is positive growth, especially on a spiritual side of things. Now, in Guy's Garden, you have everything you need to make your dreams come true. There is no shortage of... Of anything here Pisces and you're constantly reminded of the law of supply Gaia is the infinite spirit manifest in all tangible things so it's something you can touch in the um, physical world now she represents the abundance of nature when she comes to you as your ally she invites you to partake of all the blessings of life and there will always be enough for everyone so it's telling you not to worry, but success comes to you from the fruits of your intentions and all is well with the world as a result. Now, this is also a sign to remind you to give thanks and maintain an attitude of humility and gratitude as your greatest good now manifests for you. Guys, gifts are sweeter when you share them with others. So beautiful. So, you know, you are a little bit worried about giving this gift of travel to maybe the person that you um ended a relationship with but um it's good for you now number 18 in this card is associated with abundance success and spiritual freedom it's a number that relates to introspection and rebirth so you've gone in you had some quiet space and now it's about rebirth. The number 18 is a sign of positive changes and it's associated with good fortune, strength and power. It's also associated with the sign Pisces, which is a sign of deep emotions and a strong connection to the spirit world. And that comes up here with the Diviner card. So ask and you will receive here, Pisces. 
There's enough to go around for everyone. So just be grateful and um, share your gifts with others. So that's all I have for you guys. Love to you all. Bye for now.